much. Well, a local dry cleaner suddenly shuts down, causing customers to wonder how they're going to pick up their clothes. And 13 Action News reporter Jeremy Chen is live now with what you can do if this happens to you. Jeremy. Well, Todd, Tricia, as you can imagine, customers coming to Payless Cleaners, they were met by these signs over here. This sign saying from the owner that they're closed because of the fire. This sign from Clark County saying they must close due to that fire. And this sign from building inspectors pretty much saying that it's not safe to be inside. All three signs certainly giving a lot of frustrations and confusion for customers. Clothes are still inside Payless Cleaners on Rancho and Craig waiting to be picked up. They won't be for a while after the county shut down the business after a boiler room fire last week. Customers were left confused trying to get their clothes. And then I tried midweek. Every time I go there, there's nobody there. It's not open. Temporary closures can frustrate customers, but the Better Business Bureau says they should remain calm. Try to be patient, maybe uh, try to find out what exactly is going on, if the company is going to reopen. If the closure happens to be more permanent, they say customers should take more forceful action. Write a letter to the company, mail it to the company, because um, sometimes there may be an actual forwarding address has been applied. The owner did leave a phone number and we called it and he responded. He says he's been doing his best reaching out to customers and more than 20 people picked up their clothes at another location during the past two days. The BBB says making a contingency plan is a good idea for a business. What would we do if, you know, this happened or that happened? So it's always, it's always good to have a backup plan. A plan to hopefully ensure the clothes inside will eventually get picked up. And we actually did get to speak to the owner in person who actually came right around our 5 p.m. live shot. He was actually interacting with customers that were coming by here wanting to pick up their clothes. He says he's not able to do that because of that red sign you saw a little bit earlier. It's not safe to be inside there. But we can tell you he also reached out to the woman who we talked to and he says that he's working with her to eventually get her clothes back. Jeremy Chen, 13 Action News.